Hi guys, Englishman here. Tonight we're going to do an evening Christmas drive to Floriana. Look on the left, that's the viaduct that goes all the way to Beretta. In front is the impressive Fleur de Lis gate. It was a different angle in the night's day. It used to connect the two viaducts. There's the other part of the viaduct. Look, it comes all the way from Rabat Fountains, all the way down, connects to the Fleur de Lis junction, and carries on down. On the left, there's different villas where the knights left behind. They're for homeless now, and a little bit further down, there's one for the governments taking it over. Um, petrol station on the left, and there's a junction there that can go down to uh, oh, the different parts of Hamroon. See it on the left hand side? Anyway, we're going to carry on down now, Fleur de Lis. Uh, this is Santa Venera. Going in a uh, little bit further on, you'll see the new church. On the left there's a very interesting villa here. It was owned by a knight and at the back of it is a really big garden. I'm yet to do a video on it, I haven't got round to doing it. Well, there's like a secret passageway down to it by uh, the Bocce Club. There's a ha Santa Venera Bocce Club here. Uh, this is like, uh, at this point here, can you see on the right hand side there's a tower. It dis disappears underground now, the water. In the old days it used to be carried all the way to Valletta. This is uh, Santa Venera. Coming up on the right soon will be the new church of Santa Venera. The old is in the back road here, but they rebuilt this one. Um, I think you'll see it. I think there was uh, coming up soon. Oh, this, they're all stopping here. So, oh, this guy decided to reverse into a main road. Uh, nothing to say about what he's driving. Here's the church on the right, Santa Venera church. Uh, still having do things done to it. I think it's been uh, many years now they keep putting things to it. Um, was, see, you can see Maltese driving. It's really impressive. He wants to park on the other side, or is he going into a garage? Oh, he's going down into a garage. So, oh, I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, this is Santa Venera going all the way down to Hamrun. We might get a little bit of a quiet part in Blatterbida after Hamrun. I don't think they put any lights here, but there's lights all the way down here, Santa Venera. And soon you'll see uh, Top Joyce. That's actually the border between Santa Venera and Hamrun. All oh, these bolt, bolt taxis are everywhere. They're doing so well. Here is now Hamrun. On the left there was a building that was 20 years ago. It was started building. They did about two stories and they're in court now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, trouble is the one building either side of it are, are collapsing. So no one's going to pay for that. This is Hamrun now. Uh, just this is a little bit of a quiet area, Hamrun. But when you turn the corner, we're coming to the high street, St. Joseph's High Road of Hamrun. You can see the lights now just in the in the front now. This is the main St. Joseph High Road that we're going along. Uh, this is the main part of Hamrun now. The church you can see on the top, the tower of Hamrun. Fantastic festa here in Hamrun. San Gaetano. I've done it many times. A really impressive festa. This is a Sunday evening, so many of the shops are not open. I picked it because we, we don't get stuck behind any buses. Uh, but you can see, look uh, how impressive the church is. Oh, it's open, the church. So This is the high street of uh, Hamrun. I have to keep a bit of a move on because uh, there was a car behind me and he was getting a bit impatient. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, high street. All the shops you can see to the right and to the left. Very busy place and was a lot busier in the old days, but uh, sadly... The Point and Valletta and Slima, they're taking a lot of business away from Hamrun. But uh, always been nice lights. I think these lights are, I, I would say, they're as best, as best or as good as Valletta. There's Festa Tayeb. Oh, she's got her boots on. Come on, girls. Winter time. <laughs> this is the piazza on the left. They did a presepio, like a baby Jesus and the uh, if people don't know what a Persepio is you can just see it there but I'll be doing another video on that you can see on the left hand side it's like a, a lifelike uh, Persepio here is the kiosk we did a video of the Russell Ford I think it was hey, guy. on the right is Daniel's Daniel's supermarket and shopping center it's uh, all been taken over by a few times now they went bust before and they it's not a very good area in Hamroon for a, a place like that Mostly there used to be Hamaroon, a lot of cheap shops, but it seems to be changing a little bit. Anyway, we're in Blatterbida almost now. Uh, the lights will go out a little bit now until we go over past that bridge that I did that really nice video of. Remember it, guys? That's in blue and red or something like that. Down here is Radio City, this junction. I think there used to be a, 
there used to be what a, a cinema here, guys. Tell me in the comments if you if you are from this area. This is Blatterby now. It's a little bit quiet, uh, like the top end and the bottom end of Hammeroon. It's always been like this. Uh, the lights they don't really bother about it. Uh, we'll be coming to that bridge on the right hand side soon. At these traffic lights coming up. It's a quiet area, but it's the connection between Hammeroon and Floriana. And we're coming to his place. We're going to go through this gate soon, guys. I'm going to give you a bit of a quiz. Can you tell me what the name of it is? Oh, we're going to be stopped here because uh, this is a this is a train that comes from Daniels to the park and ride. I think it is a Floriana. So if you're having difficulty parking in Hammeroon, you can pick up this train, and it takes you to uh, Daniels. But you don't have to do the shopping in Daniels if you don't want to. You can walk around the whole of Hammeroon. So you can park, which is plenty of parking by the old license depot in Floriana. Jump on this. I don't know if it's uh, what, about one or something here, one or two euros. And you can just go into Hamaroon. Uh, we soon get past him, I think. He goes so slow. Normally I've seen him, I've seen him empty. <laughs> I don't know how they manage. Anyway, we're going on the main road now to Floriana. Floriana has got uh, many, many history from there. The British and the American uh, high commissions were there. I used to go in the old days to get the... Uh, everybody used to go and get the visas from there, from uh, Floriana. And it's changed now, they've did uh, different places. We're going to go through this gate now, guys. In the comments. What's this name? I'm going to go right through the centre, I think. Let's go. It's Speedy Gonzalez just flashed past me. Uh, here we go. We'll go through the centre. It's, it's a gate. It was built by the British, I think, to reinforce the uh, fortifications of Valletta. Uh, and obviously either side has been knocked down, but you can follow the... The wall all the way around Floriana, it's, it's just as impressive and sometimes forgotten like uh, Valletta. Valletta's got obviously the fortifications as well, but Floriana, they were worried about the Great Siege and they started building another wall. Anyway, we're coming into Floriana now. Floriana is going to always have nice lights. They're a little bit more upmarket than Hamrun. Here we are now, we're in uh, Floriana. On the left was used to be the embassy of the American embassy. Everybody used to have to go there for visas. And the last building on the right used to the British High Commission. I spent many a happy hour there. Uh, we're going to go up to the island um, where you can get into a car park in Valletta. And we're going to come back down a little bit now and just show you the lights from the other side. We're almost at the end of it now though. I uh, hope you enjoyed the lights guys. That's uh, Santa Venera, Hamaroon, Plata Drider and Floriana. Is the internal flame uh, on the right hand side. We're going to go around this island, go back down into Floriana. There's the Valletta on the left hand side. You can just see the fountain, buses, uh, the bus terminus there as well for Valletta. All this area is Floriana. A lot of people they uh, get mixed up, they think it's part of Valletta, but actually Valletta is inside the gate, so this is still Floriana. Go back down with the uh, lights. Thanks all for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a drive, an evening Christmas drive. We're going to start at Santa Venera from Fleur de Lis and we came all the way down to, Fla uh, to uh, Floriana. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Take care, everybody. Have a great Christmas. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment. What did what, What's that gate we went through? Oh, you can do it. Bye, guys. Take care. English many more to Christmas time. Subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.